Welcome to the YouTube video channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copy are below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. In this video, I'm going to talk about a fairly new site called My True Ancestry that claims to be able to compare your uh, DNA to ancient DNA samples. And um, match you genetically uh, as far as terms of your closeness with ancient populations and also modern populations. And I'm, I think there's a lot of question marks when it comes to this site. Um, um, they don't really list how they come about, do their, uh, what their methodology, methodology is. Um, you know, and there's, I'm, I'm highly skeptical of this site. And I'm highly skeptical that of the ability to match your, uh, our DNA to ancient samples and then come to some sort of conclusion about that. Um, but, uh, I do, I do think that there is some uh, validity to, uh, this population, um, comparison and, uh, especially, especially at the autosomal level. And so I want to kind of show, uh, go through some different populations and, um, and let them take a look at, uh, at how, how they compare in terms of genetic closeness. Uh, it's somewhat similar to the, uh, the populations, uh, population reference list in the GEDmatch admixture calculators. And um, I, they, I would assume that they probably are just maybe going off one of these uh, you know, admixture calculators uh, on GEDmatch, GEDmatch. Uh, and also, I also have, but I also have questions with this site as well, because with this part of the website as well, because they go up, they compare autosomal DNA, as you can see, uh, but they also compare Y DNA and MT DNA. And I'm wondering, a lot of these pop, you know, all these populations have different uh, Y DNA and MT DNA. So there's no uniform, you know, 100% amount of like Y DNA in any or I'm NTD in any population, you know, you're going to get, you're always going to get like a, a different mix of uh, Y DNA and MT DNA. So I'm wondering what they don't, they don't tell you what, what, what is the Y DNA of this sample that they found from this specific population? And also what, what is the NT DNA? And then I'm also not going to go, I'm not even going to go into the closest ancient group because I just think there's, uh, I don't know how scientific this is and I really don't know what their methodology is. And um, I don't really don't want to give out information that it really is going to lead people in like weird directions about this. Um, so I'm not even going to show you that. You can, you're welcome. I'll leave a link to the site. You're welcome to, uh, you know, check it out on your own and, and do that. But, uh, but again, that, you know, they, uh, they, they show you, well, what, what is autosomal DNA? Autosomal tests look at chromosomes 1 through 22 and X, which are inherited from both parents and all recent ancestors. And uh, male Y DNA looks at the Y chromosome, which is inherited father to son. Only males can take these tests to explore their direct uh, paternal line. And female MT DNA looks at mitochondria, which is inherited from mother to child and can be used to explore the direct maternal line. So let's take a look at some of these. And um, I really do want to try to focus, since this is about Jewish ancestry, Jewish DNA, uh, I want to focus on some of the Jewish diaspora, diaspora groups and how and how they compare to other populations. Um, so let's take a look. So how about we take a look at Algerian Jewish? Okay, by autosomal DNA. So the closest, uh, and they, they just go, they do the, they list the top eight closest populations in terms of genetic distance. So let's take a look. So that number one closest population to Algerian Jews is Italian Jewish, followed by Tunisian Jewish, South Italian, Libyan Jewish, East Sicilian, West Sicilian, Maltese, and Ashkenazi. And so let's see if they have by male DNA. No data kernel available. Okay. So there you go. That's, that's, those are the closest populations to Algerian Jews. And let's take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at Ashkenazi, okay? By autosomal DNA. Number one, East Sicilian, Central Greek, Greek Crete, 
Greek islands, Italian Abruzzo, South Italian, Greek Thessaly, West Sicilian. We're just going to leave it up there for a little bit more so you can see it. And how about by Y-DNA? So the top eight, number one, Cyprian, number two, Cyprian Greek, followed by Kurdish, Lebanese Christian, Greek Crete, Turkish, Syrian, and Jordanian. And again, that's Y DNA, that's the male side. By female DNA, the IMT DNA, let's take a look at that. Number one, Cyprian. Number two, Sephardic Jewish, Georgian, Lebanese Christian, Armenian, Turkish, Palestinian. We'll leave it up there for a couple more seconds. And that's those are the MT DNA matrilineal mitochondrial DNA results for Ashkenazi Jews. Let's see, what else? Let's take a look at... I'm just going to show you the Jewish groups. Let's take a look at... Georgian Jewish. Let's check out the autosomal results for Georgian Jewish. Okay, number one, Armenian, followed by Assyrian, Kurdish, Iranian Jewish, Kurdish Jewish, Sephardic Jewish, Azeri, and Iranian. And let's take a look at, by male DNA, no data currently available, and no data currently available by female DNA. So let's keep going down. Uh, let's take a look at Iranian Jewish by autosomal DNA. Number one, Kurdish Jewish. Number two, Assyrian, followed by Sephardic Jewish, Lebanese Muslim, Georgian Jewish, Syrian, Lebanese Christian, and Lebanese Druze. And again, that's autosomal DNA. Let's see if they have the male DNA. Nope. And no female DNA. Let's check it out. Italian Jewish by autosomal DNA. Italian Jewish, closest population in terms of uh, genetic distance, Algerian Jewish, followed by South Italian, Tunisian Jewish, East Sicilian, Lib Libyan Jewish, Ashkenazi, West Sicilian, Central Greek, and yeah, and Central Greek. So let's see if there's uh, my male DNA, no data currently available, and no data currently available for female DNA. And let's take a look at let's see the other Jewish diaspora groups here. Kurdish Jewish. Let's take a look at Kurdish Jewish. So, yep, no Y DNA, no MT DNA, but let's take a look at autosomal DNA. Close population, Iranian Jewish, followed by Assyrian, Sephardic Jewish, Lebanese Muslim, Lebanese Christian, Georgian Jewish, Syrian, and Lebanese Druze. And again, this is Kurdish Jewish. And let's scroll down and take a look at Libyan Jewish. By autosomal DNA. Libyan Jewish, closest population, Tunisian Jewish, followed by Italian Jewish, Algerian Jewish, Cyprian, Jordanian, Samaritan, Palestinian, and Syrian. And do they have the male DNA? Nope. And no female DNA. So let's keep scrolling down. See if there's any more. Let's see. Any more Jewish diaspora groups? Let's see. Yep, there we go. Sephardic Jewish. Let's check out Sephardic Jewish. Top eight. Lebanese Muslim, Kurdish Jewish, Syrian, Iranian Jewish, Assyrian, Lebanese Christian, Cyprian Greek, and Jordanian. Uh, Y-DNA. Azeri, Lebanese Christian, Greek Crete, Syrian, Turkish, Kurdish, Ashkenazi, and Georgian. And why uh, and mtDNA Georgian Palestinian Turkish Ashkenazi Lebanese Christian Armenian and Kurdish let's leave that up there well let's see that's female DNA this is for Sephardic Jews female DNA male DNA and autosomal DNA And let's see if there's any more. Uh, 
Let's see, Tunisian Jewish. Let's see, Tunisian Jewish. Autosomal DNA. Top eight. Algerian Jewish, Italian Jewish, Libyan Jewish, Cyprian, South Italian, Lebanese Muslim, Syrian, and Samaritan. And do they have male DNA? Nope. And no female DNA. Let's just take a look. You take a look at those autosomal DNA results for Tunisian Jewish. And let's see if there's any more. Yemenite Jewish, and that's the last one. So let's take a look at Yemenite Jewish. By autosomal DNA, closest populations, by top eight pop, modern populations. By autosomal DNA, Saudi, Coptic, Egypt, Egyptian, Palestinian, Samaritan, Manashi tribe, Samaritan, Levi tribe, Bedouin, Egyptian, and Jordanian. And the numbers there are the genetic distance. The lower the number, the closer that population is. And let's see if they have Y-DNA. Nope. And no MT-DNA. So, yeah, just to make sure. Yep. So that's that's it. So, yeah, I think it's kind of a cool feature. Uh, I'm very skeptical overall of this site. Um, my true ancestry, especially the uh, trying to compare your DNA to ancient populations. Um but this is a cool feature, and I do think there's some merit to it, especially with the autosomal DNA. I do have some questions about what the haplogroups are for these populations that they use for the Y DNA and MT DNA, but interesting results nonetheless. And thank you for watching.